So here we are today, so we are going to, I'm going to explain how to create illustrations and animations with Adobe Illustrator and also with Adobe After Effects. Uh, to begin we have to know that you need these two applications that they, you can find them on the Creative Cloud from Adobe. So after you download it, you, you have the Illustrator where you, you can choose the, the size of your canvas, the size of your your layer so the first thing that and also the other application that though that is adopt after effects effects where we are going to create the animation today we are going to do a simple case that is a a tooth that we are going to create a recession and also uh, uh, remove a, a slight movement after we are going to edit the final video in the final cut so we are going to go through these three applications and and I hope he, it is a useful tutorial for you to create um, this um, this kind of uh, stuff that is going to be helpful for your application for your presentation. So the first thing is to download the Creative Cloud. And the thing what you can do is to choose if you want to download only one or to have access to all the Adobe applications where you have this um, not only Illustrator and After Effects but yes but also you can have the Photoshop you can also have also other applications that may be useful for you so also you can download the full package but there is some interesting prices for uh, universities and people that are studying so you, you can grab that offer that I think is a, is a very good good one so yeah, as you can see that creative cloud you have a lot of applications that you can choose but today we are going through illustrator and um, and also um, Adobe After Effects you have the Lightroom also that may be useful for you to to also to collect your pictures for your clinical pictures um, but today we, we are going to to stick to to illustrator and After Effects so we are going to start with Illustrator. We are going to uh, to create a new new design. So you just have you can choose whatever the size of you, what you want. So for today, we are going to choose the a conventional size, 920 pixels by 9 by 1080 pixels. So you choose the, the the size of your work table, and after you you have this selected so what you need is the picture where you that you need to as a reference to design uh, on top of this picture to help you during the create the illustration the creation of the illustration so you just grab the whatever you download for internet maybe a teeth a tooth with with gingiva or or an implant you you is up to you so and you drag and drop and you just put it on your illustrator we're going to put it a little bit bigger and after putting this picture here that is going to be our reference to design so we are going to grab the pen the pencil the pencil tool we can choose the um, color of the um, of the pencil so we start designing so you, ju you just have to follow what is the shape of the tooth with your pencil if you need to do uh, some curves you can do it you just have to grab the pencil and as you see easy one to design this teeth with the pencil tool so as you can see inside there is a white color so you you also can choose what is the color that you want inside your your illustration you you can also change it afterwards but yeah here we are you can input it uh, transparent and keep designing without no interruption and no disturbance 
from the from the layer with the with the color so we, we just end up with our shape and then as you see we have a closed shape now we just close the shape and now it's a total white tooth so after having this we have these two layers one is the the photo that we imported or the design that we imported and also the other shape the other layer is the the shape that we just created with the pencil tool so it's very it's very important to control these um, layers tool and to have clear where where these layers are so now we are going to design the gengiva as you can see we we do the same the tool the pencil tool and now as we are designing behind the teeth we just have to create the shape that we want regarding the gingiva and now we design a, a square around these teeth as you can see it's completely filled with a white color but afterwards we can go there and fill it with another color that in this case is blue or red whatever it is up to you and now we have two layers and three layers sorry that these two layers this what we just designed and we have this third layer that is the picture that we imported as you can see if we move the layers we can put it on the, on top or on the bottom if you want the teeth on top so you just have to put this layer on top and and also now we are going to this is a very important step because right now you just have to to choose the the layer and as you can see you have to grab and put it as a sequence after you do that you will have these layers with a small flag that is uh, red blue or green and if you have more layers the more flags you have with different colors but this is a very important step that you have to create before we move it to adobe after effects so after that we have to uh, move these layers that we just create out of the first of the first group so they have to be completely outside of this group use you can see how we choose these layers and we move it outside of this main main group that is the layer one so now we have these two layers that is our sequence and we are going to save the project as an adobe illustrator file so we just give it a name and we save it well, this is in spanish it's tooth tutorial so we're just going to save it and okay and we have it saved it so we have it on the desktop and now we are going to use it in the adobe after effects to create an animation with this illustration that we just created our first illustration as you can see i already have it the, this project open but let's go and start from the very beginning to, to see how we create um, a recession and also a movement of the teeth we give a name to the put to the project so whatever you put the name you choose the name and now we have to import here we have to import our illustration so we just uh, we are going to grab our illustration and we are going to import it as a composition so as you can see there are some more files there and there is a folder with two with two uh, layers these two layers that are illustrator files we just drag and drop into our timeline and in this timeline as you can see we have the our, our the, the the illustration but these are two illustrator uh, files and we want to stick to these illustrator files but in a way that we can also change the vectorial points that we designed during the illustration so we have now to choose these uh, two 
um, these two layers and create a new shape vectorial shape from this illustration so you go to the to the you go to the layer and you just click create and create a new shape from the vectorial layer vectorial layer you do this with the two with the two layers and you see that we have no another two layers right now with a star and these are the important one now you can remove the other two just to not create too much confusion on your timeline and now you have the two layers that are the different layers that you can change with a pencil tool that is also available on the Adobe After Effects as you can see we can move these shapes around this is very important that you check this before you you move move on to create the illustration I'm going to resize it so we have these shapes that we can start work around so as you can see this doesn't move we have the timeline I'm going back and forth and it doesn't move if I if I do the space bar you see that it doesn't move is not animated yet but I'm going to create an animation and we're going to create a recession so I just have to grab all the the tools all, all the the features that we have uh, behind the each each layer so you can now you have to do some keyframes as you see I'm going to check the keyframes inside the timeline for this layer so the position the size rotation opacity and so I'm doing a keyframes that is my initial point is this situation that I have right now and then I move forward my my time frame my key point so and now I'm going to create another keyframes but in a different position so I move my vectorial shapes towards where I want as you can see this is a recession so I'm going to move this toward this to create a recession and here we have what is more or less the final situation that we want to represent with our animation so as you can see now if I move as I changes and I, I put there some keyframes now the 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 shape is going to uh, move around so as you can see we have created our first animation where it, there is a recession because we create two different keyframes in our timeline that represents this movement also right now we are going to do other useful uh, tip uh, in adobe um, after effects that is uh, to create some sort of movement for example to represent uh, what is a teeth extraction so we are going to move around our our uh, timeline and we are going to create another keyframes that is very important to create the keyframes as you can see it doesn't move yet but we just go more two seconds later and we are going to move away the teeth as you can see this teeth is we put it there so we have another keyframe and as you can see if you if we you just press the space bar as you can see we have the recession and we have also the movement of the teeth so it's quite easy to to create a, a simple a simple animation so right now we just have to to end up our project so here we have so what is the um, the points so so the, these keyframes is very important to to control them so because this this is the basis to our to our to create some sort of movements so now we have to export the file so we have to to add it to the Adobe encoder that is where we are going to process the final video and we just have to choose where we want to export the final animation and in which format we are going to choose H264 
H264 and we're going to export it to the desktop again and it's going to be our final file so our final animation before we move it to the final cut where we are going to create them uh, or to edit the final video just to give in the, the final stylish so so we we press play and as you can see down the, down here it's is now creating and is creating the, the final video so you can see also the what are the final adjustments you can see how the, how the recession takes place and also how the tooth extraction is, is done and after we have this file exported in the this format H264 that is the format that I use almost always to 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 edit the final video so we create a new project and we are going to create now the final edition for our video so this is a uh, final cut is a very complete uh, suite a very complete video edition tool but um, I'm going to only explain um, just the basics to edit uh, a final video with final cut so we 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 don't want to want to to make it too complicated here so as you can see in the we in the um final cut we can see the the recession also the movement and the animation we just have to cut the project whenever we want remove the 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 frames that we don't want now we are going to create um, a custom a custom color before before our animation so for example in this case is is uh, you can create grab the black one but uh, afterwards you can change it to white or whatever you just choose the color you can customize this intro as you will and as you can see now is white now you can grab a logo so just going to my Dropbox where I have all the logos from prior spot I just grab it and drop this is a PNG file so here we have our logo and now as you can see it's um, it's okay but um, we don't have we don't want this prior spot logo to pop up like this so we are going to use a transition to to make to make it more uh, smooth the entry of, of the logo as you can see we just put this um, this transition you can choose there are a lot of transitions on final cut we just drag and drop the transitions and and that's it so now we have also a transition between the the intro and the animation that we want to we want to smooth so we just drag and drop again this transition between the video and the and the uh, and the final and the final cut so after after we have this edition so we are going to export it so so we just export this file you go to settings you choose in which format you want to export so the size of the file and where you want it to be exported so this time is going to be to download so I'm going to export it and you can see there is the status and now the the sporting status of the file so after the exporting is done the quick player opens and you can see your final stage of course you can add music to your animation whatever to add music I really recommend Sunstripe that is a free uh, a free uh, you have some some free music where you can choose your music or you can go for a, a, an account that I think it's more or less ten dollars per month where you can download all that music that you can use on social media without disrespecting the, the, the rights 
So here we have my illustrations and animations folder where you can see I have a lot of animations during these years that I've been created. Okay, it's, it's time consuming at the beginning, but after you, you just uh, do some training, you, you can do it very, very fast. As you can see, in just 20 minutes, we create a simple animation, but uh, all you need is, is this suite from Creative Cloud from Adobe to, to get your after effects and also adobe illustrator and of course you then you can also use the uh, lightroom and other applications from adobe that are very useful uh, so of course the, you can buy the applications or you can choose to buy it for one year or monthly i i have these these 34 euros per month uh, i choose this one for universities and college so I have this Creative Cloud Suite that I can load all the applications, also Photoshop or, or what, else, what, what, what applications you you want to or you need to to do your job. So that's it, and from my side, it's now complete this uh, tutorial. So as a extra bonus, I'm going to give you a link where you can download the BLT implant that you can, the Strama BLT that is a, an illustrator file that you can use to, to start with your animations and illustrations I'm going to, to give you is creating implants is not so easy. Okay, so it's a, it requires a lot of times. But uh, um, but I'm going to give you this uh, BLT so you can start using. You can see here we have the BLX implant. It is a more complex implant from to design, uh, but uh, I already did it and I already have this implant design finally. So I can, I'm starting doing some animations with the, the other, with um, Stroman BLX and and but today I'm going to give away the the BLT so you can start creating your animation. So thank you for listening and bye bye.